then we'll also connect multiple databases to it. And one of these multiple databases could prospectively be like a reporting database that's read only. So we'll be able to answer this question. Um, <clears throat> and the, the short answer to that is yes, you can connect multiple databases and you can connect read only databases. You can connect databases in various state. The, the big question is where do you end up putting your metadata and where the metadata go goes needs to be in a database that's connected via an environment variable called, as you can see there, I've, I've written in the, the body of this question, Hasura GraphQL metadata database URL. So that connects to the metadata database, which is a required database. And then it, all the rest of them can be whatever you want them to be. So I can show you how to connect multiple databases. The initial one is always set up like this. And if we click on manage, you can see that it has this connection string. Now let's do connect database environment variable. And if we go back to this question, we grab this database URL, we can connect the metadata database like this metadata. And then I'm going to say connect database. And it's going to tell me on my server, I don't have that URL set up. So that's where we need to go back and we actually need to set up specifically in the Docker compose an additional variable like this. So I'm going to take this like so. And then we're going to set this like this. And then we're going to create a new variable. Let's call it this one. We'll call this one and then two like so. And then I'm going to call it metadata. And then let's go back. Let's see, what's, what's the best tool to use? I'm going to do this. We're going to open the toolbox. I don't have IntelliJ installed. Well, the idea is these things, I'm going to actually put that back to Postgres. So the idea is you set up each of these with the pertinent URI connection string, right? So now that I have this connection string, I should be able to do this, I'll do docker compose down and then docker compose up dash D. And theoretically, if it's added that one back, I should be able to in here now connect the database. Ta-da! So if an environment variable exists and you've set it up in your configuration, like you're doing a deployment to AWS or Azure, make sure to set up a database specifically for that, assign it that environment variable, then in here, you can set it up. And of course, you can save it with your metadata if you want to. And then re, when you redeploy it in a production environment, you can have those things set in the metadata already. So it just puts all those pieces back together for you when you put them in here. You can also connect databases, which, you know, for whatever purpose, whether it's read only or whatnot, you can come in here and pick Microsoft SQL Server, Postgres, give it a name, blah, blah, blah and give it the connection string and connect to that database. So that's how you would connect to a read-only database or a read-write database or uh, whatever state it's in, really. And Hasura will then endeavor to introspect against that database and provide the entities and various relationships that you would expect from your table structures and the things from the underlying database.